when you look at the uh, tree trunk, the bark is the first layer. So if the mice eat through that, they expose the second layer of the tree, which is called cambium. Cambium is composed of two layers called xylem and phloem, which transport back and forth nutrients, water, minerals, uh, up and down the tree trunk, and they form the rings. So if the rodents get rid of the bark, all around especially, like this, then the second layer, cambium, dries out and the tree has no way of uh, transporting fluids up and down. Now if the rodent chews a little bit like this, you can still save the tree. Uh, I've saved them by just putting a little duct tape on it. Uh, some other people graft it. Uh, yeah, so protect your trees from rodents in the winter. Best time to do it, right before the snow. This is one of the tree guards I use. It's made from plastic. It's corrugated. It's very easy to put on and to take off. Take it up like so. You can see there's an opening. It's white to prevent from sun damage. Now, how do you estimate the height of the tree guard? It depends on how much it snows in your area. Say if it snows about three feet, you put on a guard of four feet or three and a half feet. If it snows about two feet, you put on a guard of about two and a half, three feet just to make sure. So once again, we widen this a tiny bit, put it on a tree trunk, and it slips on just like that. Pretty easy. Make sure it goes all the way to the ground. There's a little space for air ventilation here. This is a young pear tree, about five, six years old, with tree trunk, two and a half, three inch diameter. This fits it perfectly with a lot of space to spare. So. This is one of the options. Another tree guard, the simplest one, that you can use on very young trees, because it's not wide, is this plastic tree guard. This is how you take it off when the snow is gone in spring. And this is how you put it on, starting at the bottom, making sure that it's firmly in the ground. This is a young apple tree planted this year. Uh, I think that this tree guard will do the trick. Make sure it's all the way to the bottom because they will chew on the exposed bark. Here is another apple tree where I had to use two different guards. Here is a very young cherry tree with many white branches. I had to improvise with this one. Another tree guard, which is my favorite, and I think it's the best option. And if you have the time to make it, it's made by moi from hardware cloth. This hardware cloth is metal. It has a quarter inch spacing here, so a lot of airflow. You can see exactly what's going on with the trunk. You can lift it, clean up the weeds and any other problems. This one is about two and a half feet tall. Put it on a seven year old cherry tree. I connected it with an inch and a half overlap with some wire. The way you put it on is this way. Okay, you free 
take the hardwood cloth and you figure out an approximate diameter that will comfortably fit around your tree trunk. And then you cut it with your snips. Snip, snip, snip. And besides that, you're going to need some wire, strong wire preferably, to connect this, the two sides, and you gather it around the trunk. Okay, that seems to be a big enough piece. We take it and we figure out how tall we need it keeping in mind the snow level. And if we have some excess, we cut it, we can use this on something else. Now, for example, if it only snows a foot in your area, you need about a foot and a half tall. If you make it too short, the mice will walk on top of the snow and nibble on the bark. And then you'll have to perform a miracle to save your tree. Now, they love all sorts of fruit trees. They don't discriminate. They like plums. They like apricots. They love cherries. And apples are definitely on their menu. Now, we're making a circle around the trunk where we will stick the hardware cloth. You can see we're going with about uh, an inch and a half for now to see how it's going to fit around. You should probably wear some tough gloves because the hardware cloth is going to cut up your hands. Now, that looks perfect. Now we snip some wire. We probably go with three pieces. Long enough so we can twist it around itself. Snap, snap. Doesn't have to be brand new wire. As you could see, I'm using some rusty old wire. Definitely not disintegrating it. Now we we fold it to U shape, which means about two spaces apart. Estimate the spaces where we're going to join the hardware claw. And we go about three boxes in so it doesn't rip out. Like so. And now we're going to overlap the guard. Also we have to make sure that it's even. It's on the same height, so it doesn't look discombobulated. If you count your uh, boxes, you might not have to guess. There's advantages to these uh, hardware steel cloths. The tree could breathe. The tree could get the sunshine. You're not using some nasty plastic. It doesn't disintegrate too soon. And it looks smashing. We gather it around the tree, we settle it in the soil, we surround it with soil, like so. Now you left yourself some stones that we're going to put around that. Bigger ones, smaller ones, we put it all around. Those stones not only keep the guard in place, but uh, they warm up from the sun, they keep the tree warm. It's a nice place for the worms and other beneficial insects to live under prevent the voles from digging under so you make it pretty like that now you're going to need fencing so the deer don't come and don't nibble on your baby tree 